If you are in a relationship with a narcissist, whether it's a partner, a friend, a family member, you want to listen to this. Clinical psychologist Ramani Dravasala has spent much of her career exploring the topic. Her latest book is called It's Not You, Identifying and Healing from Narcissistic People. This book is important. It and really is. You know why? People are wandering around with narcissist partners, friends, and whatever. Family members. And family members. And not recognizing it, thinking that they're the problem. So how do you know if you are in a relationship with a narcissist? You feel a chronic sense of tension. You're always walking on eggshells. You're wondering, what did I do wrong? What did I say wrong? How come I can't get this right? How do I, why do I always feel like I'm the one who's not enough? And the other person will always be telling you, you're not enough. You're not doing this right. You didn't remember this right. It's your fault. Wow. So you're in this chronic world of not only not getting empathy, but the blame is always being shifted on you. Right. And when we love someone... We want to get it right. So it's got to be me, right? Yeah, let me say It's this. what we do. That's what empathic people do. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called It's Not You. Because really, it's not. And just those three simple words has helped me work with so many clients over the years who said, ah, this is a new mm -hmm. place to start from because I thought I could fix something in me mm -hmm. to make this relationship yeah. work. Oh, that's such an important topic. So I think narcissism is a word yeah. that gets thrown around a lot. It's, it seems a little bit like a spectrum, mm -hmm. right? Like there are people that talk about themselves a lot. Mm -hmm. But then how many people are actual mm -hmm. narcissists? So this is a spitball, right? Because right. what we don't have is a good study that's ever sort of said, what percent of the population mm -hmm. is right. really narcissistic at a, at a level it causes trouble for other people? Here's my spitball. I'm going mm -hmm. with around one in six, one in seven. So somewhere between like 12 and 15, 16 percent. That's not a small number. So no. it means if you know six or seven people, odds are someone in that group you know is behaving in this way. And so that's a problem because that might be your one relationship mm. where you keep trying to fix it. And if this is a person really close to you, it's a real problem. But maybe they're just selfish. Like how yeah, would you totally. even know which is which? So it goes beyond just selfish, right? A selfish person can actually be empathic, right? They really can. They can care about your feelings, but really focus on their stuff more. You gotta add all the other stuff. So selfishness is a key piece, but entitlement, lack of self-awareness, arrogance, and it's that lack of empathy, that's a big one. There's just a lack of caring about other people. There's a superficiality, there's the being vapid. Yes, there's selfishness, there's manipulation, there's gaslighting. This isn't just well, selfishness. Bosses, I feel like, have yeah, that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not ours, <laughs> no. but other, other Talia, you are not a narcissist. <laughs> But there are, you know, yeah. there are some oh, things heck because yeah. I feel like oh, there's yeah. ego yeah. Yeah. Yes. that goes uh -huh. along with In it, right? Like, kind of I know thing. better than, than you. you. Well, it's, but it's not as simple as I know better than you. It's I know better than you and you're dumb. Oh, oh and you got to have that little you're dumb dig so I get to stay superior to you. Jeez. Because if is... someone knows better than you, okay. Yeah. But do I have to be dumb? Do I have to feel to be the case? Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. so your book, yeah, you talk about something called future faking. Yes. So what is that? So future faking is such a nefarious dynamic because it's about making a future promise to someone to keep them on the chain or to get something you want out of them. Hey, I'm going to do this for you down the road. Could you do this for me now? They never do it. Or, listen, listen, I'm going to change. I'm going to get therapy. Like, give me six months. Six months passes. You stayed in the relationship. Nothing changes. In a year, yeah, yeah, we're going to move. I know you want to move. You keep kicking the can. You keep kicking the can, and they keep moving the goalpost. Oh. And so people will look back and say, I lost another one year, two years, oh, five years. So how do you years? know? Yeah. Like, if Because the, do they change? I mean, can they change if they really want to? I mean, Ooh. probably not enough to change the patterns in a relationship that are causing the problems. I mean, we're not talking about little changes like they remember to say thank you once this week. The big self-awareness, empathic, I feel you, I see you, I'm attuned to you, you matter changes. Forget about oh it. My we gosh. should also point out your book, It's Not You, is mm -hmm. on Maria Shriver's imprint. Yes. Maria is really. Killing but, it and too. she's also very like particular Selective. about yes, who gets yes. on the imprint. Yes. So I'm excited. I for know. This we book. cannot wait to read it. Thank you yeah. so, so Thank much. You. It's going to so help much. a lot of people Thank heal. You. Thank, Thank you. you. And to check out Romani's book, It Is Not You, you can go to today.com slash books or you can get it wherever you get your books.